Hello everybody and welcome back to Mass Effect 2 Legendary Edition where we just met the Biotic God extraordinaire inspiration to many and now we're gonna go kick Osea's butt She's so chill. I really she's actually one of my favorite design Asari's. I like her armor. I like her face paint. Everything's gone to hell since we smuggled that filthy creature off world. First a Justicar shows up. Now you. At least I can take pleasure in turning your head into a pulpy mass. <laughs> She's really cool. Been spotted. Sorry, can cut this shot. Oh, that's right. I also have one of these. See, that's the problem. Sometimes it hits other people. Kill them all. See, there it goes. Ow. Oh my gosh! What the? Who just did that? Who just threw those? That wasn't me. I didn't do that. Say it die already? Did I get her? Straight down. Did she get? Oh, this is her, yeah. Yeah, it is. Oh well, I got her. Trying to pick up that animal. Is there oh, two left? I was trying to run at her, but I was pressing the wrong button. Some record of that ship must be around here. Whatever. Oh, that's the map. Just a car on the AML meter. Come. That must be the ship that Asari was looking for. Should we head back to the police station and give her the name? Or look around first? Look around. We got time. Let's look around some more. It hasn't been 24 hours. For being in powered armor, we really don't... We really don't have good stamina. I've been playing a ton of Horizon Zero Dawn. And you can run infinitely in that game, which is how they should let all games be. Let's get back to the main yard at the spaceport. Let's go. We are such a bad A group. We look really cool. Hey, look. That's what I just did. put in me, but I thought I was... Well, you saw. Anyway, thank you, Jack. I'm glad you're okay. Do I... Is that, is that pit me for? Oh yes, yeah, to try to make a deal with me or something. Thank you for removing the Eclipse Threat, Earth Clan. It will take them months to rebuild their organization. Also... Merely out of curiosity. When you were poking about, 
Did you perhaps run across a shipping manifest that belongs to me? You never know when something like this might come in handy. If it might change your mind, Earth Clan, returning that manifest would be very profitable for you. If you give it to the detective, her reward will be a pat on the back. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I thrive off those. Oh, a weapon software block, right? Can I talk to Samara first or no? I've got the name of the ship. Your fugitive left here two days ago on the AML Demeter. Shepard, you impress me. You fulfilled your part of the bargain, and I will fulfill mine. I am ready to leave immediately, if that will satisfy your superiors, detective. You're free to go, Justicar. It has been an honor having you in my station. And it's nice you didn't kill me, too. The Eclipse smuggled an Ardat Yakshi off-world. She's who you're really after, isn't she? You continue to impress. Yes, I was here tracking the Ardat Yakshi. She is a dangerous criminal, and I will bring her to justice. After your mission is complete, of course. The Normandy is docked near the main trading floor. I'll see you aboard. I must be sworn to your service, so that I am never forced to choose between your orders and the code. This is a big deal. <laughs> By the code, I will serve you, Shepard. Your choices are my choices. Your morals are my morals. Your wishes are my code. Uh, yeah. A super-powered oath. I never thought I'd see a Justicar swear an oath like that. If you make me do anything extremely dishonorable, I may need to kill you when I'm released from my oath. I can see that this is a very important act, Samara. Thank you. Truly, the life of a Justicar can get lonely. I admit I am looking forward to serving with a company of honorable heroes. Well, <laughs> shall we return to your ship? Just a car. Woo. And Zaid's just in the background, like, mm hmm. <laughs> I need to speak to the detective. Thanks for getting Samara out of my district. I can tell my granddaughters about meeting a Just a car. And you've just upped my chances of living long enough to have grandkids. <laughs> I have proof that Eclipse killed the Volus merchant. Let's see what you've got there. Interesting. But I can't verify it. It would be inadmissible. I vouch for Shepard and any evidence she brings forward. I accept the judgment of the Justicar. It's that Thanks, easy? Shepherd. It's that easy? I wasn't sure about trusting a stranger, and a human at that. But you came through. It's a shame this Elnora escaped, but I'll get her. At least you put her on the run. Okay, enough with all the congratulations. I've still got a spiraling crime rate. <laughs> oh, by the way, I have proof that Pitney Four smuggled in red sand and illegal weapons tech. I'll send in some officers to arrest him and his cohorts. This is a big help, Shepard. I can't do much to thank you, but we do have a small discretionary bounty fund. Take this. I'll be on my way. Be well. Value the Justicar. I've never heard of one working with a human before. Renegade? Renegade? For what? What? What did I do? I gave... I... Oh, that's right. Uh, I, I was hoping to see him get arrested. I'm still grounded. What's going on? Uh-huh. I could have sworn these guys did something, but I guess not. Anything else I can do for you? I have to leave this way. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> I just like teleport away. Scimitar. Oh, it's the mission summary. Recruited Samara. That's it. That's all we get. Anyway, Samara is super cool, and I really like her a lot. I'm really excited to have her. Welcome to the Normandy, Samara. She's what? Studied your profile extensively. Don't shake her hand. With your skills, I think you'll be an excellent addition to She's our team. She's a Justicar. Thank you. 
from an organization such as yours. That is high praise indeed. Also, the oath thing is really interesting, right? Because she has like, these codes, right? That she, you know, her action is like every action she takes is essentially ruled by the codes. But apparently in the codes, there's an oath you can take to allow yourself to not necessarily, or to not, like you still have to live by the codes. But if anything that I would ask her to do would conflict with the codes, then she doesn't have to worry about it. She can just follow you know what I say but it's like really weird cuz like I feel like nobody should necessarily like have control of a Jessicar like that but they live in a very honor bound like strict way and so it kind of it makes sense right where it's like she she will have to be that this is like an allowance for like a team <laughs> like a team scenario you know whereas the codes are generally just for individual action I've seen Samara's biotic powers at work they're substantial. We still don't know what we're going to find when we hit the collectors. I will be prepared for whatever we encounter. Where shall we put you? A room that looks out on the great empty void would be most comforting. Put her in the observation room on deck three. Thank you. I must meditate on the day's events. That's it. Nothing? Nothing else? I don't know why somebody has to help me welcome people. Why can't I just welcome people? Uh, let's, we have new, new things on. Oh my gosh, we can't do anything. Biotic damage, sure. Cool down? Sure. Why not? Heavy bone weave. Uh, I don't really get meleeed. Oh, there's that though. Oh no, heavy bone weave. It's different from heavy skin weave. Oh boy. Let's go. Let's go talk to Samara. Oh wait, here, let's. There is nothing more absolute than the oath of an Asari Justicar. We did well getting Samara on our side. She is so elegant and gorgeous. Too bad her manner is just so cold. Is there anything I should know? You have unread messages at your private terminal. Morden would like to speak with you oh, over in his tech okay. lab. Anything else, Commander? That'll be all. I'll be here. I was going to talk. Commander, you received a new I message was gonna... at your private terminal. Shut up. I was going to talk to Morden, but then I was like, oh no, I'm sure he has nothing new to say, but apparently he does. From um, Jeert. Oh, one of the cleaning crew. You helped me get out of there. You helped me. Apparently, you found Thane, you took down some of the Eclipse merch, trying to gun us down, and I wondered if you could pass along my thanks. Well, the way he moved, one was dead before they even knew he was there. He snapped another's neck, and then shot a third, all in the space of a few heartbeats. It was incredible. He moved like a dancer, grace and power, and constant motion. Seeing him change my life woke up something in me I don't fully understand yet. I don't know what I'm going to do, but Solarian lives are too short to waste as custodians, especially when there's so much else out there. I'm going to find some, something that lets me capture what I saw in him, that beauty, that aesthetic perfection. I'm also going to buy some nice clothes, so if you could tell him that, or just whatever parts you think appropriate, I'd appreciate it. I... I understand completely. One hundred percent, I understand. He is grace and power. So, Commander, even your Asari are trained killers? You get everyone at the same <laughs> store or something? <laughs> you know. I assume everything's going well up here? Good for now. Fractured my thumb on the mute, but I think I made my point. And she didn't say anything. What do you think about the people we're picking up? Well, about the ones you went out with last. Zaid is like you, but takes checks. As long as it's not my money, we're good. And Thane seems like the strong, <laughs> sensitive, murdering type. You know, those are always great to have around, a real cuddler. It's just my opinion, though. There's really no need to go spreading it around. I love it. 
That's it for now. Strong, you, sensitive, Commander. murdering type. Do you have anything here? Yes, Shepard. No? Okay. I think we're... I want to know more about you. Do you have a specific inquiry? How are you getting along with Joker? Mr. Moreau does not trust mm -hmm. me. Yeah, the last Normandy did just fine without an AI reminding me the airlock is ajar. That's all for now. Logging you out, Shepard. Bye, well, she always sounds so sad. I wouldn't mind talking with her more. This one. I am actually skinnier in the hoodie, I think, than I than I realize in in any other outfit. Which is not how hoodies work. But yeah. Shepard, important news. No, you're busy. Have to deal with the collectors. Planning attack. Too important to wait. Just receiving data. Still processing, analyzing likely scenarios. Not sure how to begin. Too much intel. You remember our talk? My work on genophage modification? You stopped the Krogan adaptation to the genophage. Part of a team. Scientists, all different types. Blood pack mercenaries captured former team member. Malin, last seen on Tuchanka, might torture him, make an example. Recovering Malin would be a personal favor to me. Do you think they found out your team updated the genophage? Unclear. No way to determine until we get to Tuchanka. We'll go to Tuchanka and see if we can find your team member. Appreciate it. My assistant, my student, want to see him safe. Malin last seen outside Erdnot territory. Scouts might have seen Blood Pack. Talk to them or Clan Chief. Mmm, Erdnot, that's familiar. Mm. <laughs> We're gonna go see Rex. Let's see. Nope, we're gonna wait and upgrade Assault Mastery. Uh, anyway, this is the part of the game, honestly, where I tend to get a little tiny bit overwhelmed because there are so many. Oh my gosh, we still haven't done that. There are so many things to do, so many missions. We start, we start getting a ton of missions, and oh yeah, oh god, we still have so much to do on Ilium. Oh, I didn't know you could do that. Tell Kargesh the truth or purchase a fake fish from Delaya Sanasi's gift shop and hand it to him and be like, yes, there's fish in the Citadel. Oh my gosh, that's so mean. A lot, there's so many. Look at all these. Project Firewalker. Oh my gosh. Like, yeah, I just, oh, there's, there's a lot. I do get a little overwhelmed. But we're gonna be, it's gonna be fine. I'm gonna go talk to my companions. I can't. I'm losing track of where I am. Hopefully, soon, I'll get my ADD meds back. And I will be able to function like a normal human being. <laughs> Look at all my fishies. Still have Cadence picture. Look, I always like that I have a few like real books, you know? It's nice. Okay. Samara's out here in one of the better rooms. And this is so funny. This is like a place where everybody's supposed to be able to go and chill, and now I have a warrior monk <laughs> sitting in it. Shepard, how are you? How are I've you? I've spent much of the last 400 years on my own. It is nice to have a colleague to chat with. I may be rusty at it, however. If you are patient, I would love to talk. She's so cool. There's some I, I read something that like when Shepard comes over and kneels next to Samara, it's kind of supposed to mean something. I don't remember what it was though. It does look kind of awkward, honestly. How much do you know about our mission? 
I know that I've sworn an oath to follow you, and that you seek to destroy the Collectors. That is enough for me. You don't want to know why the Collectors need to be fought? When you live by a code that compels you to harsh action, you learn the dangers of curiosity. If I must kill a man because he has done wrong, do I really wish to know that he is a devoted father? Mm. I'd like to hear more about the criminal you were chasing on Nos Ostra. I hope you will understand if I wish to avoid this topic. It is deeply tied to my code and beliefs. You might say it is personal. Uh, we'll just do this. I need to know if this will impact the mission. It will not. What do you think of Cerberus? I've heard rumors, but learned long ago to form my own impressions. There is too much room for interpretation in the opinions of others. Why were you willing to work for Cerberus when you didn't have first-hand knowledge? I work for you, Shepard. Mm. Our methods may be different, but our goals are not. Her eyes are mesmerizing. Mm. I should get back to work. It has been my pleasure, Commander. Hang on. She's so cool. Shepard, what are your impressions of Miranda and Jacob? Jacob is an earnest young man. Events will either forge him into a great man or utterly destroy him. Miranda is undoubtedly a hard woman. I respect her strength and determination. She carries many burdens and doesn't share them with others, as it should be. Mm -hmm. but Samara would definitely, Miranda and, and Samara would get along, in a way. Very, not like buddy pals, but like respect, you know what I mean? Um, but being with Samara and Thane, like I think I've said it before, but like together combined, they create this like peace and like tranquility within like the maelstrom of violence that we exist in as like warriors and soldiers defending the galaxy and I just really really appreciate them do you have any suggestions about using some of the resources we've gathered I believe I can use some of them to increase our fuel reserves so we can explore further shall I tell you what is required I haven't even done much exploration yet honestly I've been so caught up in like acquiring friends. Show me what it would take. I think it's the prototype. No, no, it's not. It's a um, ship enhancement. Extended people, of course. Yeah. Shepard. How do you think our mission is going? Building our forces is a good strategy. However, the time to strike is coming soon. No, it's not. I should go. Of course. Although, to be fair, I think... I need to be careful. Because... Is it only Tally left? I actually need to check. I think when you get your final companion, it might unlock... Oh, that would be a bummer. I, I might unlock the next part of, like, the next, what do you call it, um, unskippable mission, essentially. I'll need to check that. Because we only have tally left for dossiers. And I really want to get tally, but once I get tally, I want to be able to just run around doing missions, you know? Something. I think we can have a few minutes to talk. Certainly. Yes. If you don't mind my saying, you don't really seem like an assassin. You've spent too much time fighting thugs who think custom painted armor makes them professionals. The Hanar trained my body for this role since I was six years old. You've been killing since you were six? Of course not. I didn't make my first kill until I was twelve. They were training me. I was not to be used and thrown away. I was an investment. You were a child, not an investment. I've given you the wrong idea. They valued me, yes, as a resource, but also as a person. They regretted their need for me. Mm. The Hanar? 
excessively polite, worship the Protheans, they don't seem the type who train assassins. Every species trains assassins. The Hammer are only unusual in that they need other species to do the killing for them. They have a strong grip and natural toxins, but have you ever seen one move quickly outside of water? Or fire a gun? Only on television, thanks to Blasto. <laughs> Why did your parents agree to this? The agreement was made under the Compact. It was an honor for our family. The Compact? We live on the Hammer homeworld because they rescued us, some of us, from extinction. We owe them our lives. That is the compact. And this is where I get... I, things get very questionable for me. What exactly are the terms of the compact? There are many things the Hanar can't do, even with mechanical aid. They ask Drell to assist them. So, this gets him pretty riled up, but it, I think it's a fair point to make. This can't be legal. They made your whole race into slaves. Don't insult me, Shepard. Anyone can refuse to serve. Few do. We owe our existence to the Hanar. We are proud to repay the debt. It's... It's very, very questionable to me. It sounds like... It's one of those things that's like, Oh yeah, you can refuse, but like, what if you're brought up not really given that option, you know what I mean? Like, they just kind of don't bring it up that you can refuse. Or that your parents feel honor-bound, and so they force their child to, like, agree with whatever they're being asked to do, you know? And, like, to be fair, nothing indicates that the Hanar treat the Drell like slaves. They treat them more as, like, honored friends, you know? But, it's still... It is borderline uncomfortable well it's, it's uncomfortable <laughs> and it at least for outsiders and maybe that's just unfair like as being an outsider i can't judge it but at the same time sometimes an outside point of view can kind of see things clearly that those on the inside may not if it's a system you're used to you know and you don't you can't really see it from the outside how it looks to others or how it might actually be like at least a different perspective then how are you supposed to make an informed choice, you know? Why was your race going extinct? Overpopulation. That must sound trite to you. Humans developed mass effect drive before the problem became acute. Our homeworld, Rakana, had few resources. We hadn't even developed fusion power when the soil began to fail from overuse and pollution. The Hanar found us a century ago. They sent hundreds of ships, evacuated thousands of us. Billions more had to be left behind. And like, this is another thing, is I'm like, why, why didn't the council get involved? Why was it just the Hanar? Maybe it was like so immediate that like, nobody, like, they, they couldn't like, bring the resources to bear, but we have Mass Effect relays. Like, you can get to places, you know? Like, and there's like, quantum communication, at least in some levels, you know? Like, I don't know, the Hanar aren't, aren't maybe like a super important like species in the overall, like they don't have like a ton of power that they can bring to bear, but like still, to let billions of sentient species, like sentient people, die is wild. It's wild. And also this creates a severe bottleneck effect on like population promulgation. You know what I mean? Like the, the, the continuation of the species is now going to be very difficult in a lot of ways and freaking who decided who got to be on the ships and who didn't you know what i mean like it's just i don't know what's the state of rakana now do you read your philosophers a man named thomas hobbs when all the world is overcharged with inhabitants and the last remedy of all is war which provideth for every man by victory or death as rakana died around them my people slaughtered each other for mouthfuls of water crumbs of food I mean it's what happens right like when you're brought to desperation you know it and here's the other thing is I think he'll say it later but right now their drill are kind of stuck on the Hanar homeworld and I, I don't know maybe we'll, we'll get to that later it's they still as far as I can tell haven't done any reclamation efforts on Rakana they haven't looked for other worlds for the drill to live on, but their population is so small that, like, giving them a whole planet, maybe, like, they just wouldn't be allowed. Like, I don't know. There's also a, another huge issue that'll come up for why it's, dip, why it's, I think, subpar, almost borderline war criminal-ish to 
keep the drill on the Hanar homeworld, but that'll come up later. But you don't kill for the Hanar anymore. You're freelance. What changed? I was asleep for a long time, yes. I paid no attention to what my body was asked to do, but then... Laser dot trembles on the skull. One finger twitch, he dies. Then, the smell of spice in the spring wind. Sunset colored eyes, defiant in the scope. The laser dances away. My apologies. Drell slip into memory so easily. <laughs> Was that one of your assassinations? Uh, yes. Perhaps we can discuss it later. I've wasted too much of your time. Uh -huh. Let's see. Do you need something? You mind if I ask you a few questions? Not at all. We already talked about those. We can't do the Normandy upgrade yet, I think. We need to have the best equipment possible to take on. My old contact network often located rare equipment yes. for me. Yes. Let's see what they've got. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Let me know if you want to pursue that. I will. I should go. I shall return to my meditations. I have two people <laughs> who meditate. I don't know. It seems... I, I apparently have a type of people that I really like. I mean, I like all kinds. I like I like Saeed a lot, too, to be fair. I guess I don't have a type, but... I'm glad we have these two. I don't know. They balance each other. They're very... Symbiotic. People are talking out there. And I hear it all. I'm not really sure what to do with myself. Not much call for thievery aboard a ship. Not a lot of people go in and out of Dr. Chakwa's office, other than to get medical attention, I mean. I hear you shared a drink with her. That's really nice. I imagine with all that's happened, old friends are becoming a luxury. Um, anyway, this video has gone on for quite a while. I will continue talking to my friends in a moment, but thank you all so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I'm glad you could meet Samara, and now my, my main squad that I take out with me is complete. Except now I'm torn with Zaid. <laughs> um, but yes, thank you all so much for watching. I appreciate it. And really quick, I want to say thank you to my patrons, to all my patrons, but to especially my sapling tier patron, Reese Galito. Thank you so much for your support. I really appreciate it. And an extra special shout out to Christopher, who is my treat. Did I say sapling before? Treat tier <laughs> um, patron, who is the super bestest. Thank you so much for your support. I really do appreciate it. And uh, once again, thank you all for watching, and I hope to see you in the next one.